Hi, this is Bob. I've been a ham radio operator for uh, 54 years. And I developed, uh, well this is, I developed about 30 years ago a method of uh, of installing PL259 connectors. It's very, very easy. And uh, you don't have to solder all that braid in there. Uh, you can do it with a mechanical connection and it has worked for years and years. I have had antennas up for 25 years with uh, this type of connector on, done this way with no problem. Uh, first thing I do is I cut the outer the outer covering off for uh, about an inch and a half like that and then using my wire cutters I nibble around the outside of the center here and then you can take a pair of pliers now this is a very short piece of coax so I'm using two pairs of pliers and you can pull that right off just like that there it comes <laughs> okay so now we got the center all stripped back and when you do this always remember to put your coax shell on first like so and then I don't have to do that because this is just a little teeny piece of coax but that's what you do with a long coax otherwise you'll be taking it all apart I've done that a few times and had to take them all apart anyways you uh, you then take your wire cutters and you nibble away a portion of the black insulating jacket. Now it's a little tricky to do that without digging into the braid, but you can do it. And what that does is that reduces the size of the coax right there so that you can actually screw the coax connector on there. Then you clip the braid back so that they're very short. I'd say a uh, quarter inch like that. And then you want them all the way around. Cut them back quite short. Fold them back over the coax and away from the center and then you put your connector on like this and using two pairs of pliers these are ordinary slip jaw pliers you can now screw the connector onto the cable and down over the braid so you screw it all the way on till it sits seats right down on there and you can see it going down on there and it gets tighter and tighter as you screw it on there but you take it and screw it on there until it's screwed all the way down now you want that center insulation to be sticking up about a quarter of an inch like I had it there Okay, now that's tight. Now you notice I squeeze the coax with the pliers, but that really doesn't hurt it. Now, you take our shell here. You can take your wire cutters and you can cut off. You see I got a couple pieces of uh, braid coming out the back there. Cut those off. And now, you got the shell already on the coax because you slid it on. You just crank that on like this. All you have to do is solder your center in there with your soldering gun like so or use a small soldering iron you have to solder the center now when you're working with the 75 ohm coax you can solder them in there like that too the 75 ohm coax has got a copper center you solder that in there like that and then you cut the excess off and there we have a PL259 installed and you will see that it's got a very good ground 
and it'll last years and years and years like that. And it's so much easier to install and you don't have a chance of uh, heating that up and melting everything down inside and getting solder all over in there. They work just fine. No problem at all. I do this on the cables that I use from 160 meters up through 2 meters without any trouble at all. So that's how to put a PL259 connector on without soldering the shield. 73's and good DX.